Hello, hello everybody. This is Professor West and I'm creating this video for my students who are having trouble or have had trouble with the week one lab work in the um, Python class. So this is using uh, Zybooks of course, the Python 3 same one that I used in the previous Zybook video. Um, and this is section 1.15 program. And let's take a look at the instructions first. It says um, that you want to output this tree. So you're just using print statements. Followed by two blank lines. And then output this cat. So down here they've already got the tree started for you and you want it to look like this so they've already got this line and this line written for you so you just need to add these last three lines so how do you do that um, simply put I'm gonna get rid of this line and I'm actually going to copy this line using control C and then I'm going to paste that line now what I need to do is I need to add one star before and one star after the ones from the line above. So I'm going to hit the backspace one time and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to put two stars. So now I have this star to the left or asterisk to the left and this asterisk to the right. I'm going to do the same thing on the next line only this time I'm going to add two stars so to each side so now I have seven rather than five and then so one two three four five six seven and then back to the final line which has a simple three stars now if I scroll down and run it it's gonna show me the output and there's my tree yay okay so but that's not all now we need to add two blank lines how do we add two blank lines does anybody know I do simply put we can come down here and put print quote slash in and it adds a line because we added a line but remember it doesn't do that with multiple lines and then the second line oops I forgot to add the initial quote um, would add the second line so now we're gonna come down and we're gonna do hashtag space draw cat so how do we draw the cat as you can see it takes um, a forward slash and a backward slash for one ear and then a forward slash and a backward slash for the second ear this reminds you that like here this didn't output the letter in it was slash in which is a command for a new line so since we have so many commands that where it starts with a slash if you actually want to output a slash you have to put two of them for the backslashes so to draw this cat's ear I have to put print oops and then I have to put the forward slash but I have to put two of the backward slashes and remember here just having a star would output the star here having a backslash in doesn't output the letter in it outputs a, a new line command so this is the command to output a backslash I hope that makes sense I'm going to skip a couple spaces. Looks like about two to me. But we can play around with that in a minute. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other ear. And then I'm going to end that line. Print. And let's see. It looks like there's one, maybe two spaces. And the letter O. And it looks like one space and another letter O followed by print um, quote there's an equal sign at the beginning 
and an equal sign at the end. I keep hitting that semicolon. And then one last line, print. Um, space hyphen 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 which actually looks to me like it's going to have to have a little more space in front maybe not this is something that you'll have to play around with in order to make it exactly right when I print this there's a good chance that my cat's face is not going to be aligned like it is here and that's just something that you have to play around with here's my output and that's actually pretty good my eyes are over one too far it looks like and what else those look okay and the these are these need to go over one more and these are over one too far it looks like so I can come back up and I can take one of those out and I can add one there and I can run it again well that didn't look perfect So now it looks to me like I need to actually add a space here and a space here and here, one here, and see if that works. Again, ah, that's a lot better. This is just something you'll have to play around with. And drawing is never an exact science on these when it comes to pictures like this cat. But that looks pretty close. Looks like maybe I need to take one space out of the eyeball. Run it again. That looks a lot better. And there we go. That is my program. So my, my program now outputs a tree, a couple line spaces, and a cat. So I hope this is very helpful to you guys. Um, as always, if you have any questions at all, make sure to let me know because I'm always happy to help. And I will see you in class. All right, have a good day.